Hi guys, welcome to my video on Game of Thrones Season 8, Episode 1 discussion. Um, we're going to go in-depth, talking about behind-the-scenes stuff, review things we liked and didn't like, um, analyze kind of the story, uh, character motivations, and get into a few predictions. So, here we go. Uh, first question, what do you have for me? First question is, what did you like most about the episode? Okay, well, it's hard It's hard for me to pinpoint anything I liked the most. It was a good episode, um, pretty standard, very good cinematography as always, and storytelling, it flowed really well. Um, there wasn't a whole lot that stood out. I don't think they took many risks, risks this time, um, but great acting as usual just getting back to with the characters again um i really enjoyed the reunion between john and aria um very touching i was looking forward to that for so long those are two of my very favorite characters um and also daenerys but just the two of them together i think is really special and they did that very well the actors were on point um very emotional we got to see aria with uh you know needle and she showed it to John. It's, it's showing that needle as a gift that was given to her from to her from John is very important, and that she's held dearly. She's held onto it dearly, and you know I could tell John was touched by that, and it was a great you know reunion. And a lot of there were a whole lot of reunions, um, too many to name, but I really enjoyed. I, I enjoy characters getting back in touch with each other and talking about what happened in the past, and it's important to catch up with all that continuity um Tyrion and Sansa being a good example um a lot of times they kind of ignore that or they do it too briefly and this time I'm glad that they allowed the characters to breathe before all the chaos happens um I like the dragon scene quite a bit um great special effects I like seeing John and Daenerys together I think they have pretty good chemistry not great but it's good and you know, it was, they had some funny scenes in there, some funny dialogue, um, beautiful scenery. Uh, of course, John riding the dragon for the first time, that's a big highlight. Uh, I didn't think that was pretty cool. Um, they, the one thing I will say in criticism of the episode is that nobody had a sense of urgency, you know, considering that impending doom is right around the corner. Uh, yeah, but other than that, it was good. I, I did like that there was the scene with Sansa and John, where Sansa really called John out on his motive, saying, uh, "Why did you bend the knee to Daenerys? Uh, is it because you think she's a great queen, or because you're in love with her?" And then they cut it there. You don't get to see John's reaction, so you're left to wonder what he told her. Um, obviously, a lot of tension between. Sansa and Daenerys and that's going to be a main focus for this season um, we got to see almost all of the characters so it got us up to speed real quick you know you got uh, Cersei and Bronn and even even um, Theon and his uncle his, those side of things so I really don't have a favorite part um, other than you know just what I said the reunion between John and Arya stands out. Okay. Uh, were there any moments in there that were really tense? I mean, uh, between characters? Oh, yeah. Definitely tension. There's there's always drama in the show. Um, Sansa being the biggest, uh, you know, the biggest tension right now. Um, there's also, obviously, tension with Cersei, um, but, yeah, what else? Um, how about, um, Sam coming to visit oh, yeah. there and was... see John? What was that about? Okay, so there's, there's really big tension also between Sam and Daenerys, um, because of what happened regarding Sam's family, um, you know, Daenerys basically had to tell him, you know, your father and your brother, they defied me. I gave them a chance, but they just directly 
you know, were opposed, so she had to execute them. I mean, she didn't have to, but that was her choice to do it. And she tells Sam, and of course, he's very upset about it. Sam being a pretty sensitive guy. But, um, yeah, Sam went and told John, you know, hey, if he's, John, he's basically like saying, I'm not sure that this Dragon Queen lady is really, you know, a good person seeing how she executed my family. She's, you know, John, uh, Sam is basically saying that, uh, Sam is basically saying, I wished you were in charge. Is that you really should be the only one making those kind of decisions. So it was basically, you know, Sam saying to John, you know, you should step up and, and be the leader and, and, you know, you you shouldn't have to be subservient to her. We're, we don't want to follow her necessarily. Right. Um, did you think John's reaction to the news that Sam told him was significant? I mean, really, um, it was a big, big deal, obviously. Oh, when, you mean, obviously, when uh, Sam told him about his parentage? Yes, that, that, that he's, in particular, yes. He was the heir to the throne, and by rights, he, you know, he still is, in a way. Um, yeah, John, total disbelief at first kind of anger over the fact that he had been lied to about, you know, who he is and who he was, and, and then, and then it just became, well, what do I do now, Do you think that you could pinpoint a direction that these, uh, this season is going to go by watching that episode? Yep, um... The focus is definitely going to be on who should get the throne, um, who can take the throne. Um, Sansa, obviously, is not just going to sit around and let Daenerys take her spot of rulership. Sansa has been through hell and high water and sacrificed so much to get where she is. Um, she doesn't have a whole lot of trust in John's ability to play the game, the game of Thrones, all the politics of the scheming that she knows firsthand that Cersei is capable of, and all of her, you know, all, all the people in King's Landing were so cutthroat, and she learned, she learned how to survive from the master of the game, Littlefinger. She is hardened. She's not going to let just John's Mr. Nice Guy approach, uh, you know, take flight. You know, she she knows how people are. She knows that you have to kind of be strict to rule. So she is definitely uh, showing promise as far as leadership moving forward. Yeah, the direction of the stories is going to be a rift between Sansa and John and Daenerys. I think John is gonna, you know, stay loyal to Daenerys. He's, you know, well, you know, we, we were thinking that he was in love with her, but now that he's got the news that she's basically his aunt, uh, he's not gonna be quite as romantically inclined toward her. Um, yeah, John's caught between a rock and a hard place, you know? Yeah, so obviously, um, you think he wouldn't probably go the route that Jamie took with his sister. <laughs> but uh, knowing John is an upright man raised by, I know that he was very disappointed by the information about Ned Stark yeah. lying to him. But I think in time, he will reason and see why that happened. Yeah. Okay, well, sounds like you were pretty happy with the episode. Uh, is there anything you'd like to elaborate on? Well, going further into what direction is the story going to take? Um, yeah, okay, so we're looking at with Cersei. You know, she's hooking up with Euron, and, you 
know, she's planning, she sent Braun to assassinate Jamie and Tyrion. Uh, this is gonna put, you know, an urgency on Tyrion and Jamie and even Sansa to go after Cersei to deal with Cersei. Um, so, you know, it's gonna be. We're going to have two big events happening. We're going to have, obviously, John dealing with all the White Walker stuff. And probably Sansa and Jaime and Brienne and Tyrion dealing with Cersei. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's true. Okay, that sounds like, um, sounds like it was a good episode. And you can move forward and look forward to see what's going to happen in the next one. Definitely. All right, stay tuned for um, more videos to come more thoughts and predictions please give me your comments ask me you know anything you want um always love to hear from you thank you for watching and goodbye